Hello and welcome to Compute Age from Dates. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I got a question from Emmanuel. He said, hey, Jeff, I have a list of customers with some birth dates. I want to calculate their age and I want to group the customers into age bands. Bands like, you know, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, stuff like that. So as with anything in Excel, there are many ways to accomplish any given task. I've been on this Power Query kick lately, so I think that's a pretty fun way to do it, but there are certainly other ways to accomplish this. To use Power Query, I'm going to select any single cell within the range and click on From Table Range. This loads our data table into the Power Query editor. First, we need to click on Birth Date and then Add Column and then go to Date and Age. Okay, and what this basically does is it creates a new calculated column that calculates the elapsed time, you know, days, hours, minutes, seconds from, from this birth date column to now. Uh, in fact, it, it's refreshable. So if we click refresh, it's going to change those values. So we can refresh this at, at any time. Now, the thing about this age column is it's, it's expressed like in days, but we really want it expressed in years. And there are a few different sort of things to be aware of. The method that I'm going to show now is, is really an approximation. It works in, in many cases, like in many different birth date and today combinations, but not all. For example, it doesn't really factor in the whole leap year, like born on a leap day kind of a scenario. So if you do need that level of precision, then hey, just download the sample file. And I've got a query set up that goes through um, through that use case and, and through all those formulas. They're a little trickier, so I just want to show something that's pretty fast and pretty simple and works for most cases. So what we do to convert this is we click on age, transform, duration, and then we convert this to total years. Okay, and what happens is it creates a total years decimal value. And if we look in this formula bar, we can actually see that the denominator is 365 and so that's a pretty good approximation. If we wanted to get it a little more precise though, we could change this denominator to 365.25 and hit enter. And that'll account for, for some of the leap year activity. Okay, and then what we really wanna do is round this down to the nearest integer value. So to do that, we're gonna click on transform, uh, rounding, round down. And that's going to give us a pretty good approximation of the age. Not exactly precise in all cases, but it's pretty fast and, and pretty easy to do. Then we go to home, close and load two. And we're going to send it to a table into a new worksheet. And now we've got our values. Uh, the last step in Emmanuel's question was simply, how do we group these into bands? And for this, I'm going to go with a pivot table. Insert pivot table. I'll put it on a new worksheet and go. And now at this point, we're going to throw age into the rows layout area and then any other fields that we want. We might as well grab last and first as well. And, and now to do the group. To do the group, we just click on um, any of these age values and then go to pivot table tools group selection. Here Excel is going to ask our starting and ending point, and if we want to group it by, you know, every 10 years, uh, we could group it by 20 years, we could group it by 5. We'll just take all the defaults for now and click OK. And now we've got our customers grouped by these age bands that we've defined. Um, and at this point, we're, we're pretty much done. We do need to address some of the cosmetics. So let's just do a little bit of cleanup. First thing I'm going to do is go to the last name field settings and select layout and print show item labels in tabular form all that's going to do is it's really just going to line up first and last name then we want to remove subtotals we want to actually remove grand totals we'll take off the row headers and we'll actually take off these plus minus buttons okay this is looking a lot cleaner um, just from formatting let's go ahead and change this to last and now for, for these age bands, what we can do is rather than click on an age band, if we actually hover our mouse over the top cell border of the selected age band, the pointer turns to a down arrow. When we click that, then it selects all of them and any future age bands. And then we can apply whatever kind of custom format we want. So I'm going to go with my favorite cell style, which happens to be this one. Um, I might do bold. You know, I might raise the, the uh, font size up a little bit. 
uh, and now we basically have it. Uh, and so, so that is the Power Query and Pivot Table approach to computing uh, ages based on birth dates and then grouping them into age bands. All right, hey, hope it helps. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.